FM News Talk 97.1. On Demand Audio. Common Sense Radio. All right, check this out. We are Facebook living on the J. Ashcroft for Secretary of State Facebook page, correct, my friend? Yes, sir. And we just got in from being outside and seeing the J. Ashcroft touring bus, which is awesome. And it's really not as much a bus as it is an RV. It's pretty fancy. Very cool. Well, not, I wouldn't call it fancy. <laughs> but you guys are going to go across 70 today. You're going to kick off your election integrity tour, correct? Yes. So where are you going to go? Uh, we're going to be down in uh, Jefferson City. We're going to be up in Columbia. And then we're going to be over in the Kansas City area uh, talking at some businesses and discussing election integrity and jobs, creating yeah. an opportunity for the people of the state. Well, you know, I think your timing is right, Jay Ashcroft, because we've had a couple instances, uh, not only in, in other parts of the state, but here locally, where we've had election disasters when it comes to either ballot boxes, absentee ballots, you name it. I know you've been a big proponent of the photo ID thing. They did a... I think it was a Gallup poll yes. that showed a preponderance of Americans say it's a no-brainer. Well, it's, it's it's so easy if you take the time to make sure that you're going to ensure that every eligible voter has the right opportunity to vote, but make it hard on people to cheat. And that's what it's about. We want your voice to be heard, the listeners and other people, not the bureaucrats or the politicians. I will tell you that one of the other things that's important is the enforcement of the laws that we already have. The election laws we already have. And just yesterday, I was talking about how Secretary of State Jason Kander advised the election board in the city of St. Louis not to let the campaign of Bruce Franks Jr. see the absentee ballots. A judge said there was absolutely no reason why they should be denied the viewing of these absentee ballots. And to me, that's where a Secretary of State could make a difference between winning an election, losing an election, or and critically investigating an election. Exactly. And people need to have confidence in their elections. And to do that, we need to investigate po- potential allegations of voter fraud. And people should know this isn't actually seeing how those individuals voted. Right. But it's to see the background information. That's all. And it's the sort of thing that we can provide and secure our elections. And yeah. it's sad that the office was less concerned about protecting your votes than they were about politics. Now, speaking, yeah, because, you know, they were, in my opinion, uh, protecting a, a entrenched uh, Democratic family. But well, that's, that's another story for another day. <laughs> also, by the way, the Secretary of State has a huge impact on referendums. And we talked about this on TV, but you can't stress the importance enough of the language on ballot initiatives. So important. Yeah, for for decades and decades, we never had any problems with those. The courts never overturned them. And we've seen it, what, four times in the last couple secretaries of state with Democrat secretaries of state that have misled, essentially lied to the people of the state. And that's just wrong. Yeah, I mean, and, and, and where, you know, like ballot language, like that just either is meant to confuse people or get a result that whoever the Secretary of State is, that that Secretary of State wants. It's corrupting the entire process of election, so it's not the will of the people. And that's, that's unexcusable. Uh, Jay, explain to me also, because you mentioned economic development. How does the Secretary of State steer economic development initiatives? Well, you know, I think one thing that we need is we need a change in tone. Because right now, the Secretary of State's office is focused on headlines. And when you're focused on headlines, you're going after companies for acting badly instead of trying to work with companies to help them act legally and ethically for the people of the state. And when you do that, you encourage a job growth and create create opportunities and more freedom for the people of the state. That's what we need, a public servant, not someone that's out there for headlines. Right. And because ideally, and we all want businesses to operate legally and, and and well and efficiently and everything else. But when you suffocate them with compliance issues, at some yeah. point it just becomes a drag and people are like, okay, forget about it. And then suddenly it's one of those things where they didn't fill out this piece of paperwork and suddenly they're paying a fine or they're caught up in some legal conundrum and that, and, and it's hard. I, I was point. talking to someone yesterday that had filed the legal the paperwork necessary at the Secretary of State's office, but for several months they keep having calls and emails saying, you haven't filed this, you're in trouble. And he's like, no, I did. Here's my receipt. Right. You know, that's just ridiculous. We need to operate better than that. We need competence, conviction, and character in that office and we don't have it now i love the fact that you have i i think you know i've been around a while and i think it's the first time that we've had somebody who's clearly articulated 
the job of the Secretary of State because a lot of people think when they go to the ballot box that it's an office and for them it's a thumbsucker vote because they don't know what's <laughs> going to happen or you know who who does what. And I think you've really driven home the importance of the office and the importance of the person who is holding that office. Well, you know, when you explain what the office does, people understand its importance, and it's time we hold people accountable in government to do what they ought to do and serve the people. And that's why I want to talk about that and show why I believe I'm the most qualified candidate. Well, have fun on the bus tour. We will. Uh, we, it's going to be great. We appreciate you kicking it off here at the All in the Morning Show. And, yeah, it's a fun little uh, extravaganza out there. It's wrapped with the Jay Ashcroft name and everything else. How do you beat it? Great Cardinal victory last night with my son singing a national anthem. we got college football starting, and I'm going to tour the state listening and talking to the people of the state of Missouri. It's awesome. Your son sang the national anthem last his, night? His uh, school choir did, so it was great to, to watch that. I'll be darned. So now let me ask you this then. Ha- did it skip a generation, or are you a singer too? Because I know your dad <laughs> is a singer, right? So your son's a singer. Did you do you sing too? Well, I think there's really just one difference between my dad's a singer. People like to listen to him. My son's a singer. People like to listen to him. I'm a singer. People don't like to listen to him. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. That's pretty funny. <laughs> well, have a good time on the tour. I'm sorry that you can't stop by the uh, Elvis Museum anymore in Wright City since it's closed. Yeah. But you guys will find something else to do out there, right? It, there's so, so much to do in Missouri. It's a great place to be. All right, buddy. Jay Ashcroft, he is running for Secretary of State. And if you check it out, we'll have the link to their Facebook Live thing on our face. We'll do something, okay? <laughs> it's going to be on Twitter and everything else. And you'll be able to actually follow. We'll be able to follow you on right. your tour, correct? Yeah. All right, great. So we'll put a link up to that, and you can see what's going on with Jay as they travel the, the countryside, uh, talking to people about the importance of the office and the importance of election integrity and economic development in the state of Missouri. Jay Ascroft, been a privilege. Thank you very much for being with us. Thank you. Thank you very much. All right, it's Common Sense Radio.